Hello and welcome back to the fastest growing travel channel on the internet, please don't look that up. Today we're talking about dating. Have you ever been to a restaurant or a cafe and seen two people who look so uncomfortable? The body language is awful, sometimes you'll just see them turn to their phone just so they don't have to look at the other person's face. Yes, I've seen this a lot too. The problem with dating in Asia is that it's very similar to dating back home but at the same time completely different. Now I want to put this out there, I'm not a dating guru so everything I say just take with a pinch of salt. I've just been living in Asia for several years and a first-hand witness at one extreme to another. And so one of the best places to start is a question that I often get asked and that is why do so many Southeast Asian women prefer to date Westerners? To clarify, I'm not saying that all do but some do prefer Westerners. So I asked the lads this question and they say well it's because they're looking for money or for a green card but this is only a small percentage of people. When you get to know the situation you'll find that many of them have had bad experiences with local men. Interestingly, a worldwide study by Jurex, that's right, the condom people, found that Thai men to be the most unfaithful in the world. There are also sadly some extremes that single women have spoken about, such as money being stolen, domestic abuse, and so on. To confirm, this is only based on what we've been told and not any specific data. Now we know some whys, what about the hows? How is dating in Asia? Well, what many expats are unaware of at the start is just how jealous some single ladies in Asia can be. Back in the UK, and I'm sure it's the same for America, Australia, etc., most women play it cool, and it'll often take a while before you know she is jealous, but in Asia, things are a little different. You certainly do not have to wait a long time before you know she's upset with you. I mention the jealousy topic because it brings us nicely onto one of the biggest problems that causes arguments when dating in the Philippines, Vietnam, Thailand, etc. And this problem is communication. In the West, we tend to be very open and talk about our problems, aka conflict resolution. But in some parts of Asia, when your partner doesn't like something, there is no communication. And that's not exaggeration, there's literally no communication. In fact, sometimes she will get upset and you won't know about it. She will just get silent but on the plus side as we said earlier in Asia you won't have to wait a long time before you know that there is a problem. In my experience I've noticed this a lot more in two particular countries and this is Thailand and the Philippines. One of the reasons that many expats enjoy dating Asian women is because they love to have fun but where things get complicated is that some expats can get a little bit controlling. One of my closest friends is just like this and his girlfriend is from the Philippines. He he has the money in the relationship and he's told me that this gives him a sense of control but what he tends to do is use his money as emotional blackmail and I told him that this is not healthy in the relationship but he doesn't see it as a problem. Now she is modern and liberal but she isn't a traditional Filipino who wants to start a family or anything like that. So when he gets a little bit controlling she literally blocks him on all the social media that kind of thing for a few days until he calms down. So if you know a guy who's dating a Filipina or a Thai girl, Cambodian girl, anything like that, it's best to tell him to give her some space as he may find she completely shuts down. As a whole, there are many single women looking for a serious relationship and I mean so many. Therefore, as a single guy, you could find yourself with a girlfriend literally within a week or two. So that's why most expats tell other expats to take their time and enjoy the dating experience. Let me know what what you think. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Or do you have any stories to tell?